In today's video, we are going to embroider on one of the strongest, most toughest garment. That is the Carhartt jacket. We are going to embroider on this tough, rugged, okay? This is as tough as you can get. Okay, so the plan is to embroider the entire jacket back. Okay, so I went ahead and I did a uh, sample. Okay, as you can see, this is freaking big. Okay, so I have the GoPro set up so you could get a good view. As you can see, okay, this design is gonna go from side to side. Okay, so let's check the measurement. We are looking at exactly 16 inches wide. And from top to bottom, we are looking at about almost eight and a half inches. Okay, now my plan. This is the plan of the project right here, okay? What we are going to do, this base that you see here down below, this is twill. Okay, so we're gonna lay down the twill and we're going to embroider our sand stitches. Okay, so we have sand stitches here. Okay, and on the outside, I have a red sand stitch. This is a five millimeter stitch. Okay, we're gonna do this whole entire project in one hooping. Okay, so that means we don't have to move anything around. We don't have to remeasure or do anything twice. Okay, so this is the 10 by 19. This is, I like this one for your long names on the back. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. If you're going to do for uh, soccer teams, football teams, okay, you could get an entire last name. And as you can see, okay, I'm getting the full back. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the setup phase. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, I wanna set up our center line, okay? Once I have that center line, then I could, then I could be 100% sure and know that my design is going to be straight. Okay, so I am using my straight line. Pretty much what it does, what this ruler does, okay? It has the center line and then it'll measure out, okay? So once you have a, uh, an equal distance, then you mark it. All right, so this is the material here. Okay, there's a lot of different layers of material, okay? You have cotton, you have nylon, you have polyester. It's just a mix, okay, of a lot of heavy, heavy fabric, okay? So we don't have any uh, zippers or anything to worry about. So we could just hoop it up straight up. Okay, so let's go ahead. You wanna zip this up in this part. All right, so we're zipped up. Okay, I wanna make sure everything's straight out. So we just kinda of trimmed the sides a little. Okay, just so it could lay flat and we don't have any obstruction. So let's go ahead throw the jacket over now okay you want to be very careful okay you want to you want to start pulling anything okay you just want to double check make sure everything's good all right once you're confident that you're straight okay sometimes it might take you a couple times okay two three four times okay but with practice you'll become an expert in no time okay i know this is my center i could just feel the bottom of the hoop and i know what to look for okay this is like the notch this is the center okay and i know this is my screw okay there's a there's a screw down here that you could you can just tell it's there okay so now, okay, this is a big judgment call right now, is this notch. Where do you wanna put this notch? Okay, this notch is going inside the machine. So if I hoop it like this, the way it is now, this hood 
is going to be inside the machine. So the problem with that, it could get bunched up, okay? All the way in, inside in the corners. And I'll show you right now what I mean. So what I like to do, okay? I like to put this notch facing away from the sleeves and the hood. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's snap this. Bam. Okay. Now, if you want to double check your work right here, okay. All right, I could see my line right here. I'm good to go. This is good right here. This is perfect. Okay. So what you want to do now is open up the jacket. Okay. Look at that. Okay. You want to make sure the jacket is flat. Okay. A lot of people say because the car heart is tough and strong that you don't need backing. Okay. But the purpose of this cutaway, okay, it's going to give you a consistent flat layer here. Okay, so your stitches are all going to have a consistent base. Okay, that way our stitches, they're not going to do anything funny, especially over time when it gets washed. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's take it to the machine. Okay, so let's carefully, okay. So I just wanna lift all this gear all right, all this stuff, and we're going to tuck it in neatly. Very important when you're doing this, um, when you're doing the Carhartt, okay? You see, I got my hoodie here. It's hanging away, okay? I got the sleeves here. And I got the hood down here, okay? Because if you do it the other way around, where the hood is facing inside, then you're definitely gonna have a lot, a lot of excessive bunching up. Okay, so I'm gonna have these clips and I'm just gonna clip these sleeves. Okay, so I got my sleeves, okay. I got them clipped up just so they don't move. Okay, another thing, okay. So on some machines, on my Recoma, you'll have something a barrier blocking here okay you definitely want to take anything that's obstructing anything out of the way we have our uh, our hood hanging down here okay very important you want to make sure you do a contour uh, trace okay that's going to give you the exact uh, boundaries of your um, of your stitch out okay Okay, so I wanna make sure I take it off the, the hoop. I could place this twill on the, while it's on the hoop, but I wanna be 100% sure that I get it nice and flat, okay? So there's always the choice you have to make, whether you wanna cut it or you want to use your cutter to cut this Okay, ideally I would say if you're doing a bunch of these, if you're doing letters, yes, use a cutter, okay? In this situation, I'm just, I just really have a, uh, a border. It's pretty straight with a, with a couple of, you know, curves inside, which is no big deal. In this situation, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. Okay, but I'm telling you, once you start, you if you wanna start using uh, letters, patterns, and it could start being time consuming, okay? But let me just show you how I go about, cause not everybody has a cutter. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it without a cutter. What I like to use just with my all purpose scissors, okay, I'm not doing any fine cuts right now. All I'm doing, is cutting into locations that's going to help me do this job faster. Right, so I'm pretty much just cutting literally the corners 
So when I go ahead, so when I'm just cutting, I'm doing it in portions instead of in one giant piece. So this five millimeter uh, sand stitch, it'll cover minor imperfections. Okay, so I'm using uh, these applique scissors. As long as I have this flat part down behind the twill, then I know I'm not cutting anything, any of my, of my bottom portion, okay? So it kind of gives you an extra sense of confidence. So you could just cut, cut, cut. And these scissors are very sharp. Highly recommend it for anybody doing any type of applique work. All right, we're good to go. That's really this, the, the time consuming cut part, okay? Cause the bottom YouTube is just a regular square. That's gonna be no, no issues. All right, let's put this back and let's continue embroidering. Okay, we are now off the hoop. And as you can see, let's zoom in real quick. Okay, so you can see everything is looking very clean. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's take off this hoop. All right, bam, look at that. Now, our size. There you go, 16 inches. Okay, this is super big back jacket. And let's check the inside. Okay, so now I gotta just come in and cut my cutaway. But as you can see, let's check this. The sand stitches stitched out perfect. All right, that's just a double check if you want to double check yourself. Okay, just on a side note, okay, I also have a, my extra one that I have. I'm going to turn this into a patch, okay, because you could also do this as a patch, okay. You have the option of doing it uh, straight embroidery or make it as a patch. So this one I am going to turn it into a patch because there are certain jackets that aren't uh, embroidery friendly, that don't have a flat back. So on one of the upcoming videos, I'm going to actually turn this into a patch and press it onto a, another Carhartt jacket, okay? Just so I could show you different varieties and different ways to do certain projects. All right, here you go. Another successful project. I'm going to leave all the information, all the materials down below in the description. Okay, and if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next project. Peace out.